going on guys nice sunny day today kind of kind of breezy and uh, you know windy and uh, not real high a temperature it's too bad I got to go to work today but uh, time we got 1108 and 49 degrees Fahrenheit 11 degrees Celsius we're charging it 10.1 amps. Uh, stator. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, I haven't. I don't have it mail yet. It's gonna take a couple weeks probably. I just ordered it. But um, I guess I'll show you the bike that the problem with it, with it is is a uh, uh, bike we call Pinky. The charging system on it sucks. It's a single phase charging system. And when you run the headlight, it, uh, it it'll run the battery dead riding riding it around. So uh, I discovered a place. Well, I shop the place occasionally, but it's a parts dealer supply place, and they have stators on there, and I've never seen them anywhere else. That is the same size as this one. Um, supposedly the same bolt pattern here. And, but it's a three-phase stator. It has 12 coils instead of you know, the eight that this has. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to see if it works. Um, see if, you know, the bolt pattern is actually really is the same and if it actually fits down the side of, uh, you know, the flywheel. And another thing that I've asked guys... Uh, one, you know, one guy says it'll work, another guy says it won't, is it, if it needs a different flywheel, like, I don't know, this one here, I think has eight magnets, and, you know, it goes with a stator that has eight coils, and, uh, you know, the new one's going to have 12 coils, if it's actually going, you know, going to work, and one guy says that it won't, that you have to have you know, equal amount of magnets, and it'll zero itself out, and it won't work. And another guy says it'll work just fine. You could have one magnet in there, and it would still work. So I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, as far as motors and generators and things like that, or how they're wound up, kind of have some some ideas on how it all, you know, works. Of course, you run a magnet across the, you know, the uh, Ferris. I mean, metal is wound with copper usually generates electricity um, another thing with this one is it's kind of old school it has you know one of these coils is just for strictly for an AC ignition system and uh, you know I don't need that I run a 12 volt so it's kind of kind of a waste within itself you know for my purposes and uh, so what I'm going to use these in is the pink bike and then the LT up here is going to use, the LT230 is going to use one of these Chinese engines. And uh, you know, so it will be a better charging system for them. Uh, I guess that's about all I got right now. It's going to be a couple weeks and now I get it and then we can tear it into an engine and see if it all fits. Probably what I'll do is actually just for anything I'll see if it bolts in here if it fits in there as far as that goes and then uh, you know fits inside of you know the flywheel and if it fits all in here and then it ought to be able to fit into the pink bike um, another little little thing I'll add to this video um, I know you guys watch uh, Keith Fleming's uh, he calls him a FU TV um, basically he's he builds a an old, uh, you know, a UTV out of four wheelers, and uh, he has a couple different setups with steering. Uh, one of them to offset the steering from the center to, you know, say the driver's side. He's made them with a chain with gear to gear, transferring the energy, you know, to the motion to the center, to the off, you know, the driver's side. And then another way he does it, he just mounts a rack and pinion, and he only uses one side of the rack and pinion to run a shaft over to turn the steering. 
And I was just messing around out here one day, and uh, there's this little, this is a four-wheel steering tractor, and it has this uh, steering box down here, and at the bottom of it, it's just like your typical MTD, it has a little, like, worm gear sprocket on the bottom, runs on this, like, half moon thing, but in the middle of it, there's a little box, steering box, and it has a, a plate on the side that how well you can see it you can't really turn it too much because everything's kind of stuck here to the ground but yeah this right here would work really well I mean you just basically put basically a drag link with tie rods on each end you know one connected to here one connected to your you know your steering on the you know, the four-wheeler and there's only one guy has one of these on eBay but you know, I think he wanted like starting bid was like forty some dollars, and then shipping was like ten or fifteen or something. But you know, it's uh, something to you know you can think about. I, I mentioned something to him about him. I, I think he watches my stuff once in a while, but to him, and I wasn't suggesting that he buy this. I knew he already bought his rack and pinion, so uh, you know, I was just you know trying to make conversation and whatever with it but uh yeah I thought that was pretty neat and uh I'm gonna make a video uh I got another tractor going uh, using the parts off of this one and uh I'll make a video of that and probably the other one running I guess I'll catch you guys later